Welcome back to this fourth episode of our Soviet Union Let's Play on the highest difficulty. In the last episode, the war in Europe broke out, um, which the Allies, they never had any chance. We've sent um, tank divisions into China to help out. Unfortunately, they don't. <laughs> they are very useful. China is about to capitulate, I think. We're just, uh, we've tried to postpone the inevitable. And because we sent them to the south. I'm very sorry about this noise. Um, because we sent our troops to the south, so did Japan and it broke through. And it now has this guy. I tried to get my um, units home. I just looked it up and... I can't. <laughs> they return to me if China loses or if we go to war. We will actually go to war soon. The first thing we do is we will claim Karelia. Um, and we'll prepare something here to go. We'll make our units ready for the winter war. Okay, it worked. Um, I will take half of you. I want the winter war to be over super quick. So what I will do is I'm sending a lot of troops up here. And... Uh, they will just end this as soon as it begins. I'm expecting the winter war to really be a winter war, meaning one winter should be enough time. We're very low on everything right now, but we still have two years to build up and I think we're not in the worst place. Unfortunately, Japan here has shown me that they, they mean business and um, yeah, we, sh we should remember that. What I'll be doing here is I'll actually be pulling back and I'll try to strategically I'll try to redeploy to here. Um, we are in at the end of 39, so we can start researching 40 tech. And we'll be researching the uh, these two. That's the only 40 tech I really care about. Oh, and this one, <laughs> which should have happened earlier. Um, I'm going to use this to increase uh, the things we actually use. Okay. <laughs> so Finland just gave us Karelia. Um, that's okay. I think... I'll actually check on that. I think they have... No, they didn't go with a... Um, they aren't neutral. They didn't pit, pick the neutrality focus and that means that they can join the war. And that means I'm not happy with them. Um, I'm gonna let it slide for now. for that he's also not flipping he has in 41 end of 41 his election um, I'm hoping it's happening before that um, Japan just joined the axis that's awesome um, as you can see I'm actually running out of tanks um, oppress I am liberating I'm not oppressing um, I'm, I don't think I need anything anymore, so I'm just gonna take whatever. So 
So I'm going to move you here actually. The <laughs> I'm really struggling here with making this less useless. Um do manage to cut them off, that would be nice. I'm gonna move you here. Oh, this is very bad. Everything, everything here is very bad. Um, no, I've managed to get myself cut off. This is terrible. This really is terrible. Um, Yeah, he surrounded my tanks. I think that's it for me. I'll try to break through, but I think I lost my tanks at this point. Um, I'll make a bit. No. Maybe Fuji? This was a terrible. Um, uh, yeah, I've, I've lost them. Um, so sending units into China was the worst idea I've had in this entire let's play. Um, let's put a pin in that. Um, we know that now. Um, this is something that shouldn't happen to you if you're playing on the highest difficulty, which I am. Um, I'm not sure if we can win. Again, I haven't played on this patch yet and I'm surprised of how well the AI is doing. I think it's really doing well. D do keep in mind that they are pushed. Uh, they do get plus 30% damage and everything. So we'll see how they hold up in real life, let's say. But um, when the real fight comes, I think um, we'll be fine. <laughs> I think, um, please do take it exactly for what I'm saying. Um, we might just be completely stomped. Um, that's a possibility. One that we will have to learn to live with, um, but I, I feel like in what I've seen so far that we will be okay. We still have about a year of build up, and I think I'm not in a bad place. Um, Germany is outproducing me heavily. Japan isn't, but keep in mind that they are taking me uh, in the middle. I will be fighting both at the same time. Germany needs to put some of its production against the UK, um, but not a whole lot, because the UK does stupid things like this. Um, the UK is almost as bad in this game as I am. <laughs> almost. Um, obviously, I'm still the worst, but... I wonder if I should... How many factories have? Six. Okay, I'm not gonna take Finland over six factories. How many am I getting from this now that I'm four? <laughs> How? One, 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 one. It should have five. Yeah, it has eight. I can see that it has eight. Why does it? Oh, it says seven, which is still wrong. But We're in forty, so oh, I'm just gonna get all the forty ticks. Um, um, I haven't done what I said I wanted to do. I didn't get those. 
Because right now I don't feel like I have the production I need to build tanks. Um, I think I need to break their tanks with my infantry with anti-tank. this and then we'll use it to get a better airplane. I I don't have it that I don't feel like I need to research it as quickly as I need to research some some other things. And that's because when it comes to air I feel like most airplanes trade like one to one. But the production loss you get from setting a new line is so massive and the new airplane will be produced so much slower. I'm not even sure if it makes sense to switch. We do have quite a lot of soldiers here. And go like this, I think. Right. Go like this. Um. Are all of you trained? No, you're not. You're you're all not even close to being trained. That's not what I wanted. I don't have a motorized army anymore, so what I will actually do is I'll take you, I'll send you there, and uh, you can do your thing. I'm gonna bump this up to um, just one. I, I think one line is enough for this because we don't have any line anti-tank, but um, like this should be fine. Well, we're not doing particularly well on doctrines. Um, I, I know we lost one because of... Um, uh, because I switched, but we didn't get a lot of pluses to our doctrines. I think here is one, yeah. But it's one. <laughs> and... Um, the, Germany, when it starts the war at the end of 39, it can actually have, I think, all but one doctrine, is what you usually have then. So we're talking about a lot. Like a big difference. I do have the 200 units that I wanted. How many do you have? That is, that is massive. He does have 300 factories. I have 200. He's showing me. <laughs> we'll have to do well. Um, I'm just gonna take this. We'll have to do very well on the battlefield and the problem with this is we don't even have any military staff. Um, Italy is winning in. Italy is massively winning in. Africa. And India. So, yeah. I mean, they're not even winning against the Siamese Empire. And this is nothing. So, I'm really not sure what they're doing. You are at war with them, right? Yeah, they are. Um, by the way, if you're playing Japan, I would not vassalize the Siamese Empire. I'd conquer it. Um, because it has quite a bit of rubber. So... Conquering it is, if you ask me, the right call. If you really want that. I don't know how you're experiencing this, but to me, it really feels like Germany's going to mop the floor with me. Um, I am not confident about any of this. Um, 
What I could try, I, I could build forts here, right? But that would throw me back even further in production. And if I would lose this, I'd be dead. I've actually lost. Yeah, this is counting down, even though I'm influencing and no one else is. This is stupid. I think I want to start the war. <laughs> I don't want to... You always say you want... Um, don't give the Soviet Union too much time, because it will build up. But I didn't build civilian factories in the beginning, which might have been a mistake. I went straight for the military factories. But more importantly, I'm not pushed in there. And that means I probably should not let them build up, not the other way around. So I'm gonna get ready for this war. I'm still on volunteer only, I have a lot. I could then do this, I think. Concealment would be nice, but I hope I'm keeping the enemy, I'm keeping the air superiority. So instead I'm gonna go uh, army defense. I need to put some of you on this border. We have idiotic amounts of infantry equipment. Keep in mind these also all have infantry equipment but nothing else. Um, I could reduce my infantry equipment production rate. But I don't think I wanna. I think what I'll do instead is I'll increase the motorized production rate. And then I'll get some motorized going. That will take some strain off my artillery production. Um, and I'll increase my up production. Something like this. <laughs> yeah, he's moving troops now because he's realizing that I've been... Oh my god. Oh my god, they have so much. <laughs> um. It takes some American. I'll be honest, I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling here. Um, he'll join me, that's nice. He won't, he hates me for some reason. I mean, they dislike me because of the claim. But they're going fascist and I don't understand why. I could try to stage a coup. Anyway, I'm, I'm keeping him out of the wall. I think that's the most important part. Um, over here, I'll... I won't use as many planes here as I'll use in some other places. I'm gonna send my bombers here, actually. Like this. Please, please stop that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm sending some bombers. I'll put small amounts of this. Ah. Let's build it here. Yeah. Um, just to defend my airspace. And I know you shouldn't defend airspace with close air support, but it's going to help a bit. Um, yeah, well, we'll try. I can get Sink Young into my faction. I'm going to declare the war on Japan right now. Just because I'm gonna hope that when I fall in from here, China's gonna hold. 
and that's going to be a big difference if Japan gets screwed by me um, you're in the excess again it's, it's going to help in the east um, I don't know how I'll do the west I'll just do my best <laughs> um, yeah you defend this you defend that I'm gonna send all of you here. Wait, why don't I have as priority here anymore? Where are you? You are Eastern Poland, right? Eastern Poland. Eastern Poland. So yeah, we have two thousand planes here. We do have a lot more, and I'm actually going to set them. this <laughs> we'll try our best um, I can see this fail quite easily this can all go downhill now please do come out of that um, yeah you're you're all fine what are you doing again we have enough of this but we are lacking everything else um, which is why I want a bit more maybe not 40 maybe yeah um, I'll get 40 more for Asia and I'll start producing this domovic now I'm <laughs> okay, I can up one of them. Could up the uh, I'll up the range. Uh, I'm not a smart person. I've changed both of them twice now, so I've completely destroyed my production. Um, but that's going to be okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? Um, we'll increase our minimum ports. I will start the war. There are such huge numbers of enemies here. And I really wish I had gotten Romania. That's big problem. I'll start it now because I don't want Japan to win against China. So we'll do that. I'm gonna try <laughs> to be that thing above it, not, yeah, this. Uh, one more. And now I'm actually, I'm keeping you. No, I'm taking yeah, all and I'm keeping that one. And I'll throw you in here as well. We really need to increase the number. I probably shouldn't let them move troops through my territory, they're just going to clog it up. I'm going to invite you to the faction and I'm going to call you to arms. Um, if you look at it, they have very few troops and one of the main problems is that he's put most of his troops against Portugal. Okay, he's moving a bit up. Is he attacking? No. This will force Germany to move some of its troops out of this area. <laughs> I'm actually going to sign all non-aggression packs. Um, you don't have to, they won't attack you. Um, but as I've stated before I started all of this, I don't want to... I don't want to be... 
a world conqueror in this run. We'll just take Germany, Italy, beat Japan here back so we know we would win. And then, then we'll call it quits. Uh, I don't think it's fun for you to watching me mop up the enemy through all these slow provinces. Um, I don't think there's a lot of fun in that. So I'm going to take all non-aggression packs. I'm not taking expeditionary forces and I'm going like this. What are we missing? Strategic bomber. That's okay. Please shoot him down. Um, I have s no use for strategic bombers. Um, we're doing quite well. That's because of our, our, our big air superiority. I have too many fighters here and not enough. Okay, we also have fighters here. We don't have here. Okay. I want more close air support in this area. Go pick us um, we're doing okay. We're dealing about one to one. Um, one to one would be okay for us because we have unlimited manpower. So if that Closer. is happening, please attack. And I'm, I'm gonna put him on fast. Fast kind of breaks your plan. If you put it on fast, he just attacks. That's just he just attacks whatever is closest, right? Um, but that's exactly what I want at this point. I just want to attack along the whole front. This attack will cause him to move troops up and I hope that China will regain some of this territory. And if Japan can use this to produce, beca because there are quite a few um, things, it will really hurt him. So I think that's positive. How are you doing? Okay, this is clogged. from both sides. He's also not breaking through, which I like. Um, he has about 30 units here, so it, it's not much, but it's a bit. I need a bit more units here. I'm gonna produce. Ah. Actually, I need to produce less. I want to make 20, but I will produce 11 more units that will make this a full army. And when he joins, what he will do, um, we'll be ready. How are you doing? Going to join them? No. Again, I'm signing everything at this point. Um, I need to be good with the others because I need to import big amounts of aluminum and rubber. So when the allies stop trading with me, I'm, I have a problem. I'm actually gonna make him do this to just rush through there. I just want, I just want him to go mad. Like, what is he doing here? Um, I think, um, I expected the beginning of the war to go worse. Um, that's not m to say much. But I thought it would go worse. Um, I'm gonna set two more of these. You don't really need to put them up. Um, I just like to order my things like this. Yes. Um, you don't really need to do this, but I like to do it. Um, make everything neat, neat and tidy. Uh, well, there's still non aggression pack coming. Uh, both of these bombers are okay. Um, you can destroy them. Okay. Japan barely moves anything against me. I'm really not sure where the Japanese troops are because there's barely anything against me. Which is nice. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> we have no idea about that. Wh why is he not... Why aren't my troops moving in here? Please do. Please be aggressive. We need to take as much land as we possibly can at this point. 
I think England landed. Um, the United States have not joined the war yet. This is England. England's going to get wrecked. They always do when they land. Um, oh, damn it. That's not good. I need to push. I need to push for two reasons. I need Germany to flee from here. I need him to take his units up. How many units have we trapped? Oh, quite a few. <laughs> um, actually, I'll be honest, it was too quick. I didn't see the number. Okay, this is my alarm to tell me I've been recording for half an hour. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Um, I think now it's actually really taking off. Um, um, it's going to be interesting to see if we can pull it off. We've advanced quite a bit, but I think the German troops are still scattered. They still fought a bit here. They, he's still having a lot here. When he really moves against me with his huge amounts of troops, probably way more than mine, we'll see. Um, I've been me. You've been you. Have a great day and uh, see you in the next episode.